Guys, that's the vanity unit totally installed now. Um, we've got it all totally plumbed in now. I've just filled the sink. I'm just checking for leaks uh, one last time. Uh, but the, this, the waste is certainly holding anyway. Uh, we've got a new tap on here from Bristan. You can see that. Yeah, these are good quality taps, these. Um, I think it makes a difference even if you use a really cheap unit. If you use a nice, you know, good quality tap. Um, it makes a big difference to, to the unit and the feel of the unit, you know, when you're using it. So, I mean, this unit wasn't expensive at all, but the tap was, so it makes a difference. Uh, underneath, it's turned out fairly neat. So, we've got the waist in. Uh, these are just couplers with the tap connectors, again, for connecting the flexi tails onto flat faced tap connectors. And then down below, further on, we go down to the isolation valves. So this can now be serviced without having to shut off the mains water. Uh, pipe covers, I always do that anyway, just covers the, the holes when you come through any units. Uh, the the earth bonding's back on. The waste, I've checked all for leaks, it's fine. Shelf, I've just it's the best I could do, cut it to size. Um, I'll cut a hole in it to get the, the pipe suit. So that's it. I'll take this out and check for leaks again. It's fine. When I first put this waste in, I was getting I was getting a leak from here. It's a telescopic waste. Um, you, you do tend to get leaks from this part here. So I basically just disassembled it and put on some silicon grease around the, the rubber seal. Seems to have done the trick, it's fine. But I'll just keep checking it, um, but I'm pretty sure. I've checked it a load of times now, it should be should be pretty much watertight. So that's it. Look down, you see the floor there, or well, part floor, that's how it will look. Uh, the view from over here. I think it'll be quite neat. I think they made the right decision putting the vanity unit in as opposed to the pedestal sink. I think the pedestal sink, it just exposed all the box, boxed in pipes, it just didn't look, I didn't like it anyway. Plus it was a dirt trap, um, these are a bit more hygienic I think. So obviously we've got the box in this little part here and the bit around the, the side there. Yeah, we'll box in this. Floor it, get the skirting board back on, it should all be quite neat. with that. Uh, all I need to do now, this is not fixed, I just need to uh, use adhesive on top of the, the unit, get the ceramic bedded down onto that and a good bead of adhesive along the back there. Um, well it's a, a waterproof adhesive I use at CT1, I use for this, for this particular job so get all that bedded down and the tiles will come down on top of the sink and then silicon again so there's no, no chance of any leaks there. That'll be it. Then we can move on to the bath. Right, guys, I'm just about to uh, bed the ceramic down now and get it stuck to the wall. Um, using this is what I use it's CT1. It's an adhesive and sealant all in one. Um, it's really good. I use it for a lot of, a lot of applications, but we can get this stuff down the back of the, the sink here and then push the sink against the wall. Uh, the basin against the wall, sorry. Uh, it'll be perfect. And you'll notice some strange green lines around here. Yeah, I'm using the laser level. I just I'm not I wouldn't normally use it for this, I've just I've got it set up for the bath. But I thought I might as well use it um, for this. So you can just see it creates a laser line there. The basin's fairly good at the moment. Yeah, so it just helps me keep things straight when I'm, I'm pushing it on as opposed to messing about with a big dirty level on top of the, the basin. Um, no, this is really a really handy tool. I use it all the time. Um, and I use it with this uh, Stabila extendable pole. It's just like one of those poles, you know, like the old plastic word up with. Um, but you can fix it. Uh, you know, really high ceilings as well. And then using uh, using this pole allows you to uh, just slide this the laser level up and down. 
it's just on magnets. Yeah, so I'll use this tool to get this, uh, make sure it's level and install it. Um, this is actually a two-axis uh, laser level, so you could use the horizontal and vertical at the same time. And just pivot the pivot the laser, and it moves the, the vertical line wherever you want it. And um, that's going to be handy for installing the the wet wall panel. But, uh, these are great bits of kit. You set them up to shoot right the way around the room, you know. Excellent if you're, especially if you're framing a wall or, you know, you need to get yeah, studs up the wall or along the ceiling or whatever. No, it's really good. Uh, it's a bit overkill using it for this, but as I said, uh, we'll be using it for the bath where it's, it's needed to get the baton installed. Okay, I'll get this pumped full of uh, adhesive now and then I'll get that job done. Right guys, I'm just preparing to uh, fit the tap, the two taps in the acrylic bath. Uh, the, the bath that I have didn't come drilled. Uh, so these are standard three quarter inch uh, bath taps here in the UK. Um, I'm using going to use a 30 millimeter hole saw. What I'm doing here is uh, drilling a test hole just to make sure I'm happy with this, uh, the tap, you know, so. 30 millimeter seems to be really good for this. Um, Hopefully you can see. I'm happy with that size of drill. Uh, the reason I'm doing this, I'm just double checking before I drill the bath. Obviously, I only get one shot at drilling the bath. Yeah, I don't want to make it too tight either because using hole saws, if you make the hole too tight, um, it's, it's difficult to drill a secondary hole. There is there is ways you can do it, but it's it's just a bit of a pain. So better being prepared first. So I'm just preparing. Uh, I'll go and mark the bath now. Mark the two holes I need to drill and drill those and get the taps in. Right guys, I've just drilled the first hole there. Uh, so all I've done is marked the, the position. Um, I just basically run it off the centre of these. The, it's 170 millimetre centres to these pipes here, so that's all I've done it, 170 mil. Uh, obviously marked them centrally and marked them same distance from the edge. I've pre-drilled this here, just to get a better grip with the, the hole saw guide. Um, let's get that done. Uh, uh, the waste and the overflows in the bath now. Can't remember if I showed that before. Anyway, I'll set the camera up and I'll show you uh, how we drill this hole here. Okay, so we've just got the drill set on the low setting. Uh, number one, it's a slower speed. Obviously on the drill setting as well. Um, you don't want to drill too fast through acrylic or it just melts and creates a rough edge, you know. So slow speed and just pulse it gently. Um, just like something like this. Just pulse it slightly just to get in <coughs> until the hole saw marks and bites into the bath. It, just take it nice and slow. Let's get the mask and tape off now. That should fit nicely through there. So, something like that. But it's as easy as that. Um, there's obviously still a protective cover in the bath here, but I'll get all that off, get the taps installed. That'll allow us to carry on with the work with the bath. Okay, so again, I used a 30mm drill bit uh, for that. Right guys, just fitting the taps now. Um, this is a useful tool for tightening taps in the baths. It's just a, a cheap box spanner. Um, so it's a lot easier, it just slips up under the bath over the threads of the tap and you can you can tighten the the tap. And all I'm doing here is just running a square off the back of the bath just to try and get the taps as square as I can. That one needs moved slightly. Um, next 
next one. No, it's okay. Deceiving with the camera angle, but trust me, they're square. Uh, possibly this one needs to move slightly a bit. Okay, so that's the taps installed. Uh, overflow, waste. Right, guys, I've got the bath back in position. I'm just using my laser level again here. Um, that just gives you an easy, easy visual guide, you know, just to to get the bath level on two planes. It can sometimes be quite difficult, you know, you raise one end and the other end goes down, and, you know, just get a, a flat surface, but you just go muck about with it. Um, this wasn't too bad, actually. I got it level fairly quickly. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the bath's level now, so... All I'm going to do now is mark the, the lip under here. Um, I really only need to put a mark there and then I'll run the laser level once I get the bath out. And that'll shoot a line along the wall and then I'll just fix a batten right along there. Um, you don't have to use a laser level, you can not use a normal level, but I just find it easier doing this. Okay, so just showed you how uh, leveling the bath with a laser. Uh, with this, no traditional way, I'll just double check with a normal level, so it's okay that way. Um, turn it lengthwise on that plane. So that's focusing. But you can see it's absolutely spot on. Um, both planes, so I just need to get everything, everything fixed in position now. All the feet locked off in position. Uh, as I said, I'm going to mark the wall here and then run another line across, get the baton fixed. Right, guys, that's the baton fitted. Um, as I showed you earlier, I just marked the lip of the bath. I've run the laser line along, fitted the baton in place, running in parallel with the laser. Just check level, it's fine. Um, I've actually used construction adhesive uh, on the back of here as well. Uh, this stuff is strong and it sticks like uh, the proverbial, <laughs> as it says. Um, so we've got a load of uh, adhesive on the back of there, and it's also screwed into the studs. Uh, just found the studs using the stud finder, um, so that's going nowhere. All that does is help support the bath, so you know, it just minimises any flex. Right, guys, that's a bath in. Uh, I've totally. Just taking off the protective film around the edges and pump the, the sides for a CT1. And push the bath against the wall, and I kept it level and then just you know, gently smoothed this off. And wet wall panels obviously going over here and another silicon seal anyway. That bath is absolutely solid now, it's bang on level. Uh, feet are secured. Uh, all that remains is to get the, the brackets in the corner, so one there and one down the far end there, and then connect the waste. Um, I've just got a bit of reconfiguring to do with the pipe work, uh, nothing too major, but I'll get that done. Hey right, guys, I'm just in the process of <coughs> connecting the waste for the bath. Yeah, I, can't, I couldn't really film it in, in it's too tight in there. Uh, but. Basically, I had to reconfigure a bit of pipe work here. Get the trap, I don't know if you can see that. It's the trap under there. I'm just in the process of testing for leaks at the moment. So. I don't want to fill up too high at the moment. I don't want to disturb the, the steel around the edge at the moment. Um, just a first first test for leaks anyway. And it's just a pop-up waste we've fitted here, so let's push it down. Check for any leaks. Seems to be fine. Okay, I'm happy with that. Obviously I'll fill it right up and test the overflow, but I'll do that tomorrow <coughs> once all this has had a chance to, to settle. Um, but 
the first few tests have been fine. Yep. I'm always a bit paranoid with bath waste. <laughs> it can cause a hell of a lot of damage, you know, if it leaks. So, um, I just always make sure. Just take my time and just make sure everything's fine. Mm. It's all my calpine fittings I've been using here. So it's all the best of stuff, you know, so. That should be fine. Yes, yeah, so here's the pop-up waste we fitted. Uh, it's just one of these we click it down. Taps are looking fine. So we'll just continue testing this. 